today, man. <laughs> You're doing good. Them snakes eventually caught you, up, caught up to you in the end. Asshole. It's not very nice of them. All right. So where is this hand in then? Is it down? I don't know. I still can't find it. I've been looking for it. Well, I jumped down. It was that a mistake. Part. I don't know. Um, going going away. Oh, you see, like I don't get it. I'm wondering if it's outside. If it's not actually in this cave, because oh my God. I keep forgetting that I can prowl. Why don't you remind me of these things? Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Boo. You have a responsibility. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I feel like it's outside. Yeah, it might be. Because, um, it seems like we should be right on top of it, yet we aren't. Crap, and there's no are, other these way. These are the same snakes. These are the snakes from before. Should, should, should we kill them? I just want to get out of this godforsaken cave. I hate <laughs> caves. Like, note to wow people that are watching this. Nobody fucking likes caves. Nobody. Nobody. The only caves that are good are caves that port you out at the end of your quest line. But if you have Unless... to then, if you have to fight your way into the back of the cave, and then when you get to the back of the cave, it's like, okay, leave the cave now, and everything is respawned. Nobody likes that. Yep, nobody likes that. There should be multiple exits to a cave. That's like, what literally I... the people who like that can be listed on one hand: Hitler and Justin Bieber. <laughs> uh, at least could they show us the exit, like? Somewhere on the map. I don't think it's outside, the Sarah. Exit. I don't even. I'm almost outside, and I really don't. Oh, think you it's are. Out here. Yeah, okay. I don't think it's out here. It's, it's out here. Okay, good. <laughs> I was like, it looked like. It was Why out. are you even marking that in the cave, though? I don't like, know. Like it's it obviously a level it. above. It should be like gray or something. Like it should be indicated that it's not on that level. Yeah, I agree. You have the technology. I agree. Very much. Very, I very much. Very, very much. Oh, so, so did you turn in all of your stuffs? Yes. Turned in all of mine's too. Okay. Here we go. Gonna go and do some things. But where? Maybe there are more freaking cave quests. I hope not. I don't want cave quests. Did you get more quests? Parth to Ogremar. Okay, I'm I'm gonna do that. Vizag. Did you use your potion? <laughs> oh my god, words are hard. Did you use your potion? No. Jesus. <laughs> as soon as we go to do what yeah, wherever yeah. area we're going, I'll use it because it's only for fifteen minutes. I think we can go to uh, Ungoro. <laughs> Ooh, Ungoro crater. Yeah. We're gonna be killing everything. Mm -hmm. So I usually get ganked at least once if I'm over there. I wonder if it if it stays on you if you're ganked. Well, we already have the Probably quest not. for Royal. Oh, we do? Mm-hmm. Well, then. We just gotta go to the it says light. it's, like, green, though. Do you think it's gonna get ungreen? It's just those quests are really fun. Let's do them green or not. Okay. Do you like questing in Ungoro? Uh, as long as I'm not killed, yeah. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. We're gonna be in BC soon, dude. Can you believe Ooh, that? I'm excited. I'm so very excited. I spent well, all of our money on getting you a WoW token. I hope we can afford to fly. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Well, how, how much is it to fly over there? I don't know. Do I haven't remember? had a character that like is that level in so long. Oh my god, this is the time. If I wanted to switch to my monk, now is the time my monk is 55. Oh, snap, girl. Oh, man. I don't Do think I want to know, because then people can't like send me mail and stuff. It'll complicate everything. Okay, let's see. Ooh, right, girl. Fly to Gadgetsan and Tenaris. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. So, would you rather speak any language fluently but offensively, <laughs> or would you rather be able to do absolutely any athletic thing, like amazing, but you have to be naked? Oh goodness! <laughs> <laughs> well, both of those would be very offensive. I feel <laughs> <laughs> like I don't think people would want. 
<laughs> me to be like doing sports all naked and stuff and be like, um, oh god, it hurt your eyes. I don't feel like anybody would feel that way, but okay. <laughs> you think I, that? I, I think I would like to do any language. Because at least. I'm talking like N word status offensive. But if you know every language, I wouldn't necessarily have to say anything. No, no, I that's the just... that's the that is the catch though. Is you do you say you have like an offensive accent, you use offensive words, and you don't have a choice. Like you are you are offensive when you speak those languages. Can I just be quiet the whole time and just listen to people? I mean, that's no? creepy, Sarah. But that's what I do anyways. <laughs> I mean, that's <laughs> creepy, Sarah. <laughs> I'm a very quiet person. Uh, I still would go with I think I would because I don't really like being naked I, I feel weird being naked yeah well and plus I mean I feel like there's some useful things you could do but like but even like around your house you know like you could if you could do any athletic thing perfectly like you could work out and get such a sculpted body and like you could do it in your house nobody would like see you naked you know what I mean like because you yeah. did all those things like within the comfort of your home, I feel like I could get more use out of nude athleticism. But, um, you see, for me, I don't really ever work out. No, but, but I don't work out because I'm out of shape. I know that sounds, like, redundant and ridiculous, but, like, I don't work out because, like, it hurts when I work yeah. out, and I'm not good at it. <laughs> like, I need to work out, but I'm just saying, like, it hurts and I'm not good at it. So, like... I'm just saying, that's why I don't. Yeah, but, like, if I was, like, super athletic and I could do all of those things, like, with Perfectly. ease. Like, I would love to have a butt that was sculpted. Oh, man, yes, me too. Like a but... sculpted twerk butt. See, the thing is, is that I'm incredibly lazy. So even if I, if I could do those things, I would probably just wouldn't. I'd be like, yeah, why work true. out the languages those things? Languages would still be a matter of convenience. Like, you could watch K-drama without subtitles. Oh, yeah. Oh. Then I could look at all the beautiful faces without having to read the subtitles. Yeah. All right, I'll give you... I I, I also would say languages, and I just wouldn't talk. I would just listen. <laughs> I'd just listen for the rest of my life. Unless I wanted to be offensive, which wouldn't happen well, very often. Well, maybe if you waited until you were, like, in a little, and then they'd just be like, oh, that's just my racist baby kangaroo. I don't know who made him <laughs> that way. <laughs> I don't know how he got that way. I didn't raise them like that. I didn't raise them like that. Would you rather have unlimited money, but for only one hour a week, and it must be spent within that hour, so you can't, like, deposit it in your bank account or something like that, and you also can't resell any of the goods? You have to literally spend it in that hour, and then, like, you don't have access to money for the rest of the time? Okay. Or would you rather get a million dollars cash once a year? I'd rather get a million dollar cash once a year because then you could save it or invest it and make even more money. No, I would definitely take the unlimited money once an hour and I would literally finance everything and then just pay all my bills in that hour. That's smart. I feel like that one hour would be really stressful though. But then again, I guess you, you could, could spread set it up out. Auto pay, yeah. Like could set up auto pay you could also um and it's not like you would really have that many bills like you can pay a lot of bills online in an hour i think i would be set with a million dollars though like i yeah. don't have like i don't have an extravagant life you I know what i mean like i just kind of i'm not even sure that i would really even spend a million dollars all said and done I think mm -hmm. I would just like the idea of like if i had a, if i had a credit card with like a high limit like i could just buy things whenever i wanted and, oh, yeah. like, not have to worry about anything. This is true. You could buy something ridiculous in that one hour. <laughs> <laughs> Would you buy this hour a yacht? <laughs> I bought myself a yacht this week. No big like, deal. next week I'll buy myself an airplane. Airplane. <laughs> <laughs> I'd still probably just, so I can save and invest it, I would probably choose a million dollars what once a month or once a week you said no once a year once a year i could i could still do that a million dollars once a year. i mean you just multiplied that by 52 jeep <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> okay this is a really deep one are you ready yeah would you rather have yourself as a parent or have yourself as a child uh I was a terrible kid, so I'd rather, <laughs> I mean, I was a good baby. My mom said I was really quiet and 
like smart like it just sit off by myself and like take things apart and put them back together like it was very inquisitive and stuff as a kid and very very quiet, much like a serial killer very much so <laughs> glad thing i'm not <laughs> but, um when i hit a teenage like i just hated the world so i think i'd rather have myself as a parent I mean, you wouldn't be both. It would just be, like, your child, like, your childhood, you would get to experience your adult self as your parent. It's not like it would be two versions of you. Does that make any sense? Yes. I think I'd rather have myself as a kid because I would want to experience, like, anything without my mom. You know Aww. what I mean? Like, I love my mom. It's just like... This is just like my mom, you know? Like, I love her. I would definitely choose myself as a parent. Yeah. I think I would be a good parent and cool and fun. And, like, I think I would have led myself to make better choices. You're very smart, I didn't too. have, like, a lot of guidance. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> I think I think you, you could probably agree with that. I just didn't have a lot of, oh, you're not following me. Oh, I'm not. Oh, I'm not. No. I was running around the town. Oh. Good job, Sarah. So good. Don't can worry. Can you even get there from here? I hope so. Oh, yes. You can definitely get there from, from here. There's, like, a, a path leading down. Okay. Well, let me see. There's tons of skulls around me, so I might die before right, well, I get there. But you should come here. Um, anyways, I think I think I would be a better parent. Like, I'm not, I don't really want a kid, number one. And my mom sucked, so, like... He's such a good parent, though. I'm just... I, just, I gotta oh tell you God. that because it's true. But I don't want to. There's so much work involved. It really is. When when you have a kid, you have to be prepared to give up the life that you have because kids take so much time, attention. I mean, if you want to be a good parent, you really, like... It's like you're no, giving yourself it. up. No, I get it. That's why I don't want to have kids. Like, I just want to be able to do random shit. And it's crazy because I'm so busy already. How could I possibly maintain my career? You wouldn't be able to. Like, here's the thing. Like, I know, like, people on the internet love to say that, like, I don't have a job or this, that, the other thing. Like, Sarah can attest, I work like a crazy person. Yeah, she does. Like, it's insane. Like, I have trouble, like, stopping work. Like, I'm, I'm a terrible personality type to be, like, self-employed. Because, like, I just don't have an off switch. Yeah. And so I'm always, always working. And, like, how could I ever, like, have a kid and, like, work as much as I do? You wouldn't be able to. Yeah. Because especially the first three years of their life, no, like, they're little I always sponges. say to Nick that, like, you know, maybe, like, someday you'll make a ton of money and I'll be, like, bored. And then maybe we'll, like, adopt a small Asian. <laughs> Not a small Asian baby. Little Asian babies are so. Cute. I know. Uh, I think are you just gonna jump babies off? Babies are like ridiculously cute too. Like babies whose like mom and dad like one's black and one's white. Oh uh, yes, so mixed cute. babies are so adorable. So cute. Any sort of mixed race though, like um, like Coco's baby is like she's obviously Asian and her husband's white. Mm. So flipping. They really cute. are. Racist mixing, they're just really cute babies. It's because they always get, like, really unique features, and it seems like more than, more often than not, they get the best features from each parent. Where did you jump off? Because I was looking for a safe spot. Oh, I, I didn't jump off. I'm going okay. towards the ramp. Oh, I'm there's a ramp over there. Yeah, I, there's a ramp. You got pants, and the tables have shifted. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's right. You run away. Yeah. Suffer. Yeah, so anyways, I think if I ever do decide about kids, I mean, I don't know. Like, I don't think I would ever plan a pregnancy. I just can't imagine myself, like, you know, I like the, the sniffles, and I'm like, fuck this, I'm out. I just don't handle illness well, and I feel like being well, pregnant is like being sick for nine months. Well, it depends on the person, really. Yeah, like, I um, I would see myself. It just completely depends. But no, for me, I'm like, the first it. two months, like, I just felt like I had the flu. And then after that... Oh, no I big deal. Cheap. I just had the flu for two months. That sounds great. No. <laughs> well, that, that's... But that was... I mean, that's me. That would... I mean, who knows how mm. you would handle it Moving because... Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. 